One of the things that a lot of people want to do is increase the magazine capacity of their magazines, and, and one of the ways to do that is with a magazine extension. And we offer several different types. Uh, right now, I'm going to demonstrate two that are, um, I think, some of the best. Uh, first of all, there's a Glock Factory Plus. This is what it looks like. You can see on the bottom, it's got Glock, and it's got a little plus symbol on it. That is the Factory Plus, and it's really plus two for 9mm. It'll hold two extra 9mm rounds. Uh, this little insert is very important because you don't want to put this on without it because you'll notice if you do so, there will be nothing to then depress the spring. So this actually captures the spring. You'll see how it sets itself right inside there and rides like that. So then when you go to take it apart, you can push up and um, get that to uh, depress the spring. So it, it does have a purpose and uh, you, you have to have both these items. Uh, this is basically the uh, magazine insert, which is GMI 08. And this is the, uh, the plus two uh, extension, the Glock Factory plus two, it's GME 01. All right, the next item I want to show you is an aluminum extension, which is kind of neat because uh, that gives a little extra weight on the bottom. Uh, this is a plus three extension. And what it has inside of it is a little disc that's going to capture the spring. And I'll show you how that works uh, when we take this magazine apart. Uh, both of these plus extensions go on the bottom of the magazine. And so in order to install those, you need to remove the original magazine base plate. And, uh, you know, I've got several videos that show how to do this, and a lot of people go, wow, just, it's not that easy. Um, this particular magazine I've had for a while, I've taken the base plate off about, you know, 50 times, uh, you know, playing with different stuff, and, and so it, it comes off very easily. Rest assured that not all of these come off as easily as I'm about to show you because it is a, um, uh, an, you know, not exact science when you're dealing with, with molded plastic products. Sometimes they are a little tighter than others. Uh, the concept is that you want to take a punch similar to this and you want to stick it into the hole in the bottom of the base plate and depress the spring to take the spring pressure off of the base plate so you can actually pull it off. So you, you stick this punch in here and then you want to push down. Now oftentimes it takes a lot of muscle to push down. As I said before in my videos, you really can't do it out here unless you're a gorilla, unless you have super strong arms and shoulders. Uh, in fact, often what I do is I put it on my lap and I actually will stand up with it and actually get my shoulders on top and pop it like so. All right, that's how I'll, I'll try to do it oftentimes. This one is easy enough that I've got it to the point where, you know, I, I mean, literally I can actually just push it off with just a little bit of pressure. Uh, keep in mind that the spring pressure and that little detent in that hole are what keep this thing together so it doesn't slide off by itself. All right, so when you load this thing up, if you don't have that base plate in there, uh, this thing could slip off by itself. Although there are two ears on the side of this uh, magazine that, that intersect with uh, notches in the base plate, uh, it's very important to always have that base plate uh, somewhat uh, in secured in place. Plus, it's the only way to really take it off is because you've got to get a punch inside there to depress the spring. If you don't depress the spring, the spring is going to capture the base plate by itself. So it, it's important that you kind of understand the concept of this thing. So once you get it started, then you can work it off with your thumb. It's very important to understand that there's a spring in here that wants to be this long. So it's compressed right now. Even though there's no magazine, no bullets in there, it's compressed. So it will fly out across the room. It'll fly out and hit you in the face. So be very careful that you want to keep it a away from your face, away from other people who are in the room, and capture the spring with your thumb. So I'm right-handed. With my, with my right hand, I use the punch. Now that I've got it started, I can put the punch down, and now I'm going to go ahead and start to take um, uh, this base plate off, but I'm going to use my left thumb to capture and kind of push it down, inch it down side, slowly, slowly, and I'm going to capture this base plate or the insert plate inside of it. So the base plate comes off, and the insert plate is in the bottom there. So now I'm going to go ahead and slide off the base plate and capture the spring with my thumb. And I'll let the spring go just so you can see what it is. And there's the, the whole guy, okay? All right, I lied, the spring's not that long. But we'll go flying across the room, trust me, if you just let it spring off. Okay, so now, because I'm going to replace the, the insert plate, I'm going to remove both these items. 
And I'm going to add uh, the, uh, uh, the plus three aluminum, okay? And what you'll see is uh, there is a little detent, a little post right there that's going to slip into the hole in the bottom of this magazine base plate. And this guy will actually slip right into this spring. And it's just going to get captured by the spring, just like that. So now there's always a right way to go on these things. The, the open side goes to the rear. The flat side goes to the rear. So I get this thing started and just bring this guy across, like bring this uh, aluminum base plate across. Now this one will be tighter on the plastic than the plastic base plate was. So I got to go ahead and get this and really just muscle this up a little bit. And there we go. Now that I did that, it's capturing the spring a little bit, but I can get it started and, oops. Just gotta get that spring down in there. And this should work right here. And there it is, just like that. Now, so you'll notice that my silver button popped through the hole, which is very important. Okay, and also look on the back side here, and there's a small hole right there that wants to have a little screw that they include that's going to help keep this in place. So we just screw this guy in. And all that does is help capture that on the bottom of the magazine. And that would be your plus three addition. Just that simple, really. Uh, plus two is the same thing. You know, basically you get the spring seated into the um, insert that we have right here and just stick it on. Same exact thing. So that's basically how that works. And, and um, it's a nice option for you uh, to be able to add additional rounds to the gun without really doing too much modification. It's simple, it's easy, low cost. Uh, we've got, like I said, two or three different options. I wanted to show you these, these two today. Uh, also wanted to make sure you understand, you know, that, you know, taking these guys off is not hard, but it's not easy either. It, it, if you are trying to push it off, make sure you've got a stout punch, make sure that you, you know, are really working it. You've got a good hold on this guy and you get on top of it. You know, I get a lot of guys call and say, I just can't take it off, can't take it off. Sometimes they are difficult and I will agree with you. Uh, but it will come off if you put enough muscle on it, and that's all it takes. But uh, this is a quick fix and uh, something that uh, is easy to do and, and gives you a, a bunch more magazine capacity uh, without a whole lot of effort. Thanks for watching. I'm Lenny McGill for Glock Store.